Hello, my name is Gufran Shah and welcome to my video cast called Tivoli Provisioning Manager Stuff. I'm going to start off this video cast with a, an overview of Tivoli Provisioning Manager and I'll use the term TPM for short. And once I've done the overview, I'm going to go straight into some real time demos and show you automation packages, workflows, and a, a key component of uh, the TPM data center model. And I'll show you how to uh, navigate this particular model using two techniques. Um, one, our favorite editor, VI, and the other with a tool called the TPM DCM Object Viewer, which we've developed. So what is TPM? Uh, in a, a summary, Tivoli Provisioning Manager is a it's an automated provisioning solution that we can use to configure various resources in your environment resources such as servers, operating systems, middleware, applications, storage and various network devices. Now what we're seeing today is in many data centers and indeed many companies who have um, um, IT equipment, there's a number of manual processes and these processes make up the, the majority of um, the activities that go on um, in that data center and those activities could be uh, doing software installations, provisioning storage, doing some service provisioning, doing network configuration and so on. Now to leverage value from uh, the uh, the IT environment that many customers have and the IT tools customers have, one of the um, ways you can realize quick value is by automating the execution of these manual processes. And really the uh, the first phase is, is capturing the ability um, and the, the IT expert know-how and then to reuse it using some kind of tool. This is exactly where um, Item Tivoli Provisioning Manager, uh, the, the TPM solution, fits in. TPM comes with a number of uh, uh, pre-built automation packages, which are based upon uh, extensive experience working with customers and provides tools for uh, customers and business partners to easily incorporate their own best practices into the IBM solution. So using an IBM uh, uh, TPM automation package, together with a workflow can provide substantial cost savings and this can help us reduce the the, um, the days of manual processes down to uh, um, hours of automated execution. So an automation package is a it's an IT service management uh, uh, automation package which consists of multiple automated workflows and workflows are the, um, the key to uh, um, automation in effect. The workflow consists of a number of steps, or can consist of a number of steps, that are dynamically and automatically executed to carry out a specific operation. The operation may be a, a provisioning operation, which forms part of a, a larger um, service deployment activity. An example of a workflow is um, allocating and uh, removing servers to and from an application cluster. You may have a workflow to perform a backup or a workflow to uh, do a restore of an application. You may have a workflow to install some software and uninstall some software. You may have some workflows to uh, to build a uh, an LPAR um, on an AX environment. You may have a, a workflow to uh, restart a, a Slaris machine so it downloads an image from a jumpstart server. Various tools um, uh, that customers are using today could in fact be wrapped together into workflows and automation packages contain um, a number of workflows. Out of the box TPM comes with um, hundreds of automation packages and you can download more automation packages from IBM's OPAL website, that's uh, OPAL, the Open Process Automation Library. So there's an ecosystem out there which um, allows us to leverage best practice for doing provisioning.